Chris Kavner is the referee. Since the start of the 21st century, this is the 62nd meeting between Chelsea and Liverpool in all competitions, making it the most played fixture between English sides in that period. And some great battles, some great managerial rivalries, Benitez and Mourinho. And it gets the juices flowing again. So it was 2-2 and went to penalties in the Super Cup back in August. It was 2-1 here to Liverpool in the Premier League in September. So now they square up to each other again for a place in the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Here's Andy Robertson. First thing to note is that Mane's playing on the right-hand side and Origi on the left. Yeah, that's been normal when Origi's been needed. Mane, he does like coming from the left, like a number of right-footed players, really. Gets him into uh, scoring positions on the inside. And here's a, a big mistake by uh, returning Kepa. Rudiger didn't expect it. And Chelsea, I think, have dealt with the danger, which would have been self-inflicted, the two culprits. And a little um, wave at each other as if to say oh, we got away with it. Well, Zuma's a big strong well, defender. Zuma, wasn't it? It was Kurt, Kurt Zuma who got caught. Yeah, he let the ball run under his foot. What a good start for him coming back into the team. There is Origi. He's been a, a big talking point. Chelsea Football Club that Frank Lampard has gone for six consecutive games to uh, the services of Willy Caballero in preference to Kepa. And Zuma, who was nearly dispossessed, thanking the goalkeeper for giving him the ball in those circumstances. He's not one of those naturally footballing centre backs. He'll be happy to play out in by Robertson and work for Marisa Belaga. It's done more calmly. A nice, comfortable catch for him early on. Ball played into that near post there, no challenge on him. Frank Lampard was keen to say that he still has a lot of faith in the goalkeeper. It's not a political <laughs> aspect. Yes, the uh, only dropper player who's cost that amount of money, beautifully judged by Van Dijk. And his value drops if you want to move him on. That's one of the problems managers face in this. Highly structured business industry of football at the top level. Here's the birthday boy, Rudiger. Now he uh, makes an error, and Origi tries to punish him for it. Aspilicueta coming back to try and help, but Liverpool are still going. Mane and concentrating on his weaker side and getting the shot away. That's the problem playing from the right. You come in on your left, and. Uh, he put it straight down the slot for Arisa Balaga. We've but seen one mistake from Zuma, we've now seen one from Rudiger. He actually looks like he gets back here and defends it quite well. But Rigi just gets away from Lalana, does brilliantly. Just to bring it back into that danger area. Just tries to hit through the back of the ball. Straight at the goalkeeper. But a poor start from Chelsea. Very poor, and Liverpool looking to feast on it. Williams. Started out as a, a winger, Nico Williams. The first winger to be converted into a right back, especially in the modern game. And there's another player that was out of favour for a long time at Chelsea under Frank Lampard. Olivier Giroud. Got his chance again. Spurs came back into the side and played well in that game. It was totally ineffective against Bayern Munich. Towards Giroud, who's made a nuisance of himself, and here's Pedro on that energetic side. The first real problem in their own penalty area for Liverpool, and Virgil van Dijk cope with it. Yeah, they created a 2v1 there. Giroud pulling on to the fullback. Barkley had made the run into the box. Rudiger. They've been getting goals from defenders, actually, Chelsea, seven of the last ten, particularly from this fella. Scored two at Bournemouth on uh, Saturday. 
Al Masielis with the offside decision. Well, that's his strength, isn't it, Marcus Alonso? Saw him play under Antonio Conte as a left wing back, and he did that job brilliantly. It's not quite so comfortable when he's playing as a normal left back. And once again, Frank Lampard before the game hinted that while he does brilliantly going forward, he needs to be good defensively as well. He's got a wonderful winning goal against uh, Spurs, Chelsea's last success. Uh, one win in the last five. And they played very well here. And they'll be looking to find that news again tonight. Against another major rival. Mark his touch. Fillmore is very neat and tidy and was praised by Frank Lampard, saying he had no... Uh, Problem at all, including him tonight, because his work in training and in the games where he has featured. Here's Pedro. There's no flag here. It's a brilliant touch from the experienced Spaniard. And then he couldn't get the shot away. Williams was quick. And just, just snuffed out the danger in time for Liverpool. But Liverpool caught square here. Great crossfield pass from Barkley. See the body position of Nico Williams. He can't see Pedro when the ball's played but his recovery runs really good. Pedro just gave him that chance with that second touch. Willian to take the corner. Oh, a little flick in the end. Just needed a touch at the far post. Rudiger was the player coming in. They do use Aspilicueta at the near post. That was his flick indeed, the captain. It's a great little flick as well, and he does well in the air for player that's not particularly big. Giroud was close to it, so was Rudiger. There's nearly another defender scoring in this run that Chelsea have just fallen away from the strike power from the more orthodox parts of the team. Pedro. Starting it through. Barkley's made a couple of forward runs already. Well, they've looked at the way Watford played against Liverpool and how they kept on making runs in between the centre-halves against the very flat Liverpool side in terms of they were trying to play a high offside line. Adrian has been the goalkeeper in the two other games. He was called in with Alisson being injured, who only just joined the club. Came on in the opening Premier League game, the very opening Premier League game on the Friday night before the first full set of fixtures. And Alisson damaged a calf and then played in the Super Cup and was the hero of the penalty shootout that Liverpool won. Uh, we still need Alisson, still wasn't fit enough for the league game here the following month. Well, the Chelsea fans would have liked the tackle that Billy Gilmore just made. He's had a confident start, the youngster, playing very much the role that Jorginho normally plays. Alonso just trying to curve it down the channel for... Giroud. Astonishing, really, to think the four FA Cup successes for and three with Arsenal, of course. Rigi. Well, it's an interesting challenge by Alonso. Mane looking for a bit of support from the officials. It looked as though Sadio Mane was ahead of Marcus Alonso. Well, that was Liverpool at their best. Ball over the top from Van Dijk. Origi making the run. Good in the 1v1 against Aspilicueta. Not too many people beat him. And it's a decent cross-play, didn't they? Had two players in there. Mane just runs beyond it. Is there a foul? I don't think there was in the end. Just got in front of the ball, Mane, although there was an arm... Just grabbing hold of his shirt there by Alonso. Out by Adrian. And VAR is uh, part of this evening's officiating. A strange anomaly in the FA Cup that the grounds have it week in, week out. In other words, the Premier League teams when they're at home. VAR is in place. Arsenal at Portsmouth last night, and no VAR. 
Mane's in again. Zuma just kept up with him. Taken on by Williams. Could he got his shot away there? Sadio Mane, great ball play down the side of him. Zuma's got pace, that's one of his attributes. Mane scored both goals in the Super Cup success. Again, very tidy work from Gilmore, and here's Barkley, of course, the Liverpudlian of the Everton persuasion. Pedro, will that fly this time? No, disappointed that the pass didn't come through, but it was there to be hit for Pedro, and the pass wasn't really on. Giroud was never going to get the ball. You're absolutely right. When that comes to him, he opens up nicely onto his left foot. Just has to hit through the back of the ball. Another good pass out to Pedro down this left-hand side. It's been a lively first ten minutes. And Liverpool give it away in their own half. And Barkley, oh, that uh, gave uh, Adrian a few more problems than perhaps a shot from that distance might be expected to do. Once Barkley lined it up quickly. He did put his foot through the back of the ball. Williams. Can't get through to Minamino. Well played, Billy Gilmore again. Made the interception, then when the ball was played into him, knew where his next pass was. The crowd have taken to him fairly quickly here. Well, there was a time, of course, the older Chelsea fans remember a whole legion of Scottish players. Stamford Bridge. Supply line now is not quite as great as it once was from north of the border. Fabinho. Speculative from Minamino. Has to turn and chase back as Chelsea come out confidently again. Pedro. Alonso on the outside, but he's looking to work with Giroud. Comes back to Pedro. And William! Parried by Adrian, caught by Adrian. And it was, in the end, excellent goalkeeping. Chelsea have suddenly found a bit more firepower after being on the receiving end in the early minutes. Well, Pedro tries to play the little one two here with Giroud. Well, they have broken through, and Adrian has to look at himself. William this time can take the congratulations in the 13th minute. And lucky number 13 for the man who wears number 13. Well, he just made a brilliant save from the same man, William, only a few seconds earlier. Try to play out from the back. William made the interception, and it's a good strike. It may just dip and swerve on the goalkeeper. He may have been unsighted. But how many goals have we seen with teams trying to play out from the back, giving it away in a bad area? He should do better, of course, the goalkeeper. But good power from William. Fabinho, the player that gave it away. That's a really poor mistake by the goalkeeper. And a bit of luck for Frank Lampard and Chelsea. See uh, William, one of the players, a good number of the players have got winners' medals in this uh, competition. And one of the starters for Liverpool have. Well, that's a nosy side red in terms of the face, I think. Well, you said about the shot that Hartley had a little while ago that caused him a lot of problems. Seemed to be straight at him. And Chelsea with a bit between their teeth. And a goal to the good, Giroud, it's over William. Oh, William's first and second touch of the game, one was brilliantly saved by that man, the other was let in. Oh, whenever they play in the FA Cup here, Chelsea invariably score. Taking too long to get off the mark tonight. It's only once in 
49 home FA Cup ties that they failed to score. Nico Williams happened to get round on the cover there. Once again, he was faced with a 2v1 situation. He will be a threat from set plays. Giroud, so will Alonso. And Aspilicueta, who oh. flicked the earlier one at the near post. William corner. Similar area, just a bit too high for the skipper that time. Pedro. Well, he conceded one goal in 11 Premier League games in a run until they played West Ham at home a few days ago. And they won the game, Liverpool 3 2. But, uh, defensively, lax. Here is Kovacic, who's not a prolific goal scorer from that kind of distance. Can't see a better bet, but he's lost his balance. And goes Gilmore again. And again, to Barkley's benefit, free kick to Chelsea. Well, he's having a very good start to this match, Gilmore. Another tackle that he threw himself at, won the ball there. Put it to Barclay, it was then brought down by Lalana. Good ability by Barclay, sees Lalana coming, just takes his, his touch away from him, gets his body across. Only one thing Lalana was going to do there, and that was commit a foul. It's a very single minded midfield player, Ross Barclay. And when he's on his game, and he's been playing well for England over the last year or so, Not always a regular in the Chelsea lineup. Well, they have got a left foot specialist. And there he is, beyond William, Marcus Alonso. That's the right sort of angle for him. William will look at it, but I'm sure it will be Alonso that will try and bend it over the wall. And keeping that's one way to stop it going under the wall. Danila, it's over the wall and it's just over the bar, only just. He certainly got his sight set, hasn't he, in this passage of the season, Marcus Alonso. A lot of side spin on it, takes it away from the goal in the end. Is it underneath the crossbar? Probably not, as it went past. But a good effort from the left back. Two away games, and they're trailing here. It's Chelsea trying to follow that game again in Watford. And after a very good start, Chelsea has well, we started the game well. Here's the goal again. Just cut across it. That's the save earlier on, the brilliant save that kept it out with that right arm. And here's the next one. Straight at him. And tries to go with a very strange technique. Yeah, I think the first one will have played a part, won't it, on his thinking. Where he was able to sort of strong arm it away. And maybe he thought that's going to be the technique to deal with the second one, but I must say, <laughs> I'm only trying to give him a little bit of an excuse, really. It was poor goalkeeping. Well, he had eight shots, four on target in the game. Mm. It's been a very entertaining first 19 minutes or so. Risa Balaga got away with what would have been a very early mistake when he threw the ball out to Zuma. And it's his fellow Spaniard at the other end who is under the microscope at the moment. Really good. A little bit short from Gomez. Gomez didn't play at Watford. And Lovren came in and 
in a way because he was the one newbie in the back four that he got maybe more blame than he should have done but it was a very passive performance by Liverpool standards they got to half time nil nil and conceded early in the second half from a, a throw in that uh, opened them up and looking for a response now Williams it's a decent cross and Minamino wanted too long and then a great stop by Arisa Balaga, not once but twice. And Liverpool had a real opportunity to equalise. And now they stopped from reinforcing that claim. So there we are, it's a tale of two goalkeepers so far, Stuart. Well, it may have even been three saves there. Good build up from Liverpool. Williams with a good ball into the box. There's the first one. There's the second, and there's the third. Good goalkeeping all round. <laughs> and you could see what it meant to him. And he's been out of the side, and you do need a bit of luck, as I say, he could have easily been responsible for Chelsea conceding in the opening seconds of the game. And now he is thinking this could be his night, Chelsea's night. And there's Adrian. And there's a long way to go. If Liverpool do lose, there will be questions asked as to why Alisson, he's not even on the bench, he's here. But, um, the clock's decision. You can certainly understand why outfield players, particularly after a tough evening, uh, look at that. They're looking for a high boot, but really he's falling over is Olivier Giroud. He actually hasn't done too much right in the game so far, Olivier Giroud. Ball's been played up to him, he's given away possession, he hasn't won a ball in the air. Gomez. Lalan. Almost measured diagonal balls from Roger uh, Van Dyke. Gomez, who is uh, from London. So he's got plenty of friends and family here this evening. Barkley. The, the interception. Chelsea have won the FA Cup six times this century. Lampard, the player, prominent in that. That's the joint most with Arsenal. They're in the fifth round for a fifth year in a row. Their performances in this competition have been top class. And uh, various managers, one under Chus Hiddink, Ancelotti, Jose Mourinho, of course, and recently Antonio Conte. Last one was in 2012, the one against Liverpool, the last meeting between these two in the FA Cup. And as uh, Alberto Di Matteo, a few days later, went on to guide Chelsea to winning uh, the Champions League. And here we are taking on not exactly the same personnel. They, uh, current holders of the Champions League trophy. And also on the cover. Pedro. Gave top the same Stuart at the start, wasn't he? The, his pre-game interview that it's not quite the, uh, the young guns of Chelsea that we've seen for much of the season. Recourse to experience. And that experience has been put to the test here. Minamino comes out to Lalana. He can't find a way for the shot. Mane to clip it in. Alonso Looks it behind for the corner. There's certainly been moments before and since the goal where Chelsea haven't looked rock solid at the back. No, Minamino looked as though he was getting away from Zuma. I think it was here, Rudiger in the box. It was Rudiger in the end who came across just there. It was Rudiger holding on to him? Minamino got a good turn in to start with, then couldn't get his shot away. Alonso gets the block in. They seem to find a bit of space down this right hand side, Liverpool, creating a 2v1. 
And Pedro's caught high up the field. Williams and Mane are creating a 2v1 against Alonso. Fabinho took the corner. Lallana. Fabinho again. And the immediate redress of Origi. And he hunts it down. In early from Robertson. Fools love that. And the fools including the attacking defenders like Virgil van Dijk. He just ducked under that one, Virgil van Dijk. He thought it was too high for him, so he just allowed it to go beyond him. Seen too much of Curtis Jones yet. He's a capable player. He's the only Liverpool player who scored in the competition. There have been a couple of own goals as well. There was that ball again from Van Dijk looking to play Marnie in over the top. They do it better than anybody, Liverpool. And long balls beyond the back four of the opposition, or back three. Back four tonight, Alonso did well, round on the cover. Had to do a lot of that against Marnie. Rudiger. Barkley. Treating this is a... A personal Merseyside derby. Giroud, Kovacic. The technique right, he was concentrating first and foremost to keep the ball down, but it's trickled with Adrian. That's the best we've seen from Giroud, just pulled into a good area. Good knockdown for Kovacic. Well, he's taking a whack here. And his shirt tugged, and then as Pilicueta goes into the back of him. I always feel captains get a slightly better deal with officials. Would you say that from your experience, Stuart? Yeah, I think so. They can talk to the referee. Depends which captain it is, mind you. Mm. In the last ten minutes, Liverpool have started to dominate possession, they've had more of the ball higher up the field as well. And Nino getting more involved, coming that little bit deeper, allowing players to run beyond him. Gomez. It's uh, worth the hit from uh, Williams. He is a Wales under-19 international, but I believe England are pursuing the fact that he might be dual qualified. Oh, why wouldn't they be looking? He's a very good player. Kepa will probably push these two players up and kick long. Has got a target, but Giroud has to start winning one of these, some of these headers. It'd be better putting it on to Gomez rather than Van Dijk. Doesn't win it against Gomez either. Fabinho. Arigi, troubled by the bounce, Liverpool's throw. Had problems at home this season, Chelsea. of the Carabao Cup, the League Cup, on this ground against Manchester United. Beaten by Bayern Munich heavily in a, from a German point of view, handsomely, last Tuesday. As he lost a group game at home against Valencia. Frank Lampard talks a lot about players performing with character, personalities, he really uses a lot. They're showing that now. Giroud for Pedro. Backed up by Alonso. Blocked by Van Dijk. Barkley. Willian. But, uh, the flag was up. Yeah, one pass, too many probably. And that ball comes on it. First of all, one by Kovacic. Win the ball in midfield. Pedro sets up Alonso here. Could he have struck it with his left foot? Probably so. And then by reversing it back to William, he was just offside. Barkley was the player that could have had the shot. The whistle had already gone by that stage. Well, 
were talking to me about it before the game, what sort of tactics will Chelsea use? They are dropping that little bit deeper now. They're not putting pressure on the centre-halves of Liverpool. They're not playing that high-pressing game. They're trying not to give too much space in behind for Origi and Mane to run into. But they are still being a threat on the counter. In trouble here, though, and uh, Risa Balaga again makes a save, and the follow-up from Williams is way off target. Romani should never be allowed here, as the ball's thrown into him, to turn, race into the box with the ball and get his shot away. Rudiger gets too tight, he's rolled, and then he gets away from the next challenge of Kovacic. It's a nice height for Kepper on that occasion. Probably pushes it out into a fairly dangerous area. Mm. There wasn't that much pace on it to push it further away without the risk of doing, in a strange way, what Adrian did and put the ball into the corner of your own net. Michael giving chase. Gomez is quick. Of course, the other option is always to catch it. <laughs> I refer you to 50 goalkeeping coaches that you and I both know <laughs> will defend to... A hilt, the um, aerodynamics of the ball that make it very difficult for goalkeepers to catch. Goalkeeping coaches will never say it's a goalkeeping mistake when no, the goal goes Well, goalkeepers themselves usually don't, but I think Adrian will probably hold up his hand in the dressing room at half time. And no jokes about that. Here's uh, Kovacic. One thing about uh, what's happened to Liverpool recently, they were very insistent on their proper winter break to the extent of sending a group of youngsters out to dispose in the end and they did it well against to Shrewsbury in the last round here's a William that's good work by Nico Williams who has benefited from the greater opportunities that that kind of decision has been made for Liverpool this season too easy too easy for William just to go in between two players just Jones one of them Fabinho the other and he plays it into a good area Van Dyke gets half a touch on it, that's why it was difficult for Williams, but he did well. The, the point I was going to make was that since the winter break, Liverpool have been nowhere near as good as they were before. They all went off and had a few days in the sun. Issues of pushing and shoving from set pieces that VAR doesn't usually look at too much. It's a call of even between attackers and defenders. Giroud will try and make a space somehow, get his dangerous head on it. But he can hit it. That's not hit it true. Yeah, just sliced across that one. It's the position to take up. Often the ball does come out to the player on the opposite side of the box. So they can keep. Keep the ball in play, get the shot away. He's been doing a bit of firefighting recently, Frank Lampard. Uh, and as many uh, positive results in recent weeks compared to the early part of the season. And, uh, two losses to Liverpool were. Uh, both tight affairs, but rare blemishes then. Okay, playing with gusto and vigour here. Pedro, just too high for Barkley. Drops for Kovacic. And Barkley didn't want to play it back to him, but actually he was offside anyway. He couldn't get out of the way. Kovacic certainly hit that one better than the earlier one. Yeah, it looks though like Alonso was lining up for it here. Decent ball played into the box in between the two Chelsea players that made their run into the box. Alonso got out of the way, Kovacic hit it. Barclay still coming back from that offside position. Fabinho. Efficiency of playing it 
forward. Not quite there. One thing I have been lacking in this period, Jordan Henderson, who is their great leader and a very good player. And James Milner, who's his deputy and very much on the same page and the same strength as a, a captain of industry, so to speak, on the field. Miller is on the bench tonight, having come back from his injury, but Ravenclaw resisting the uh, temptation to play him from the start, maybe to give that kind of drive and on-field organisation. It's just lacking a little bit. And Henderson as well. Williams. Gomez. And Dyke. Chelsea sitting deep now. Just want Liverpool to play across the front of them. Gomez. Lalan. Um, it's a little bit uh, impulsive, Sonny Mane. As soon as he felt it, knew he'd get a free kick. Well, Alonso felt he had to make a challenge there. Got in with Mane. Williams was free down the right hand side. He didn't win the ball. It's going to be an easy cross coming into the box. There's the couple of players that can come on at some point in that second half. Salah and Firmino. And Mo Salah, of course, a former Chelsea player. Alison leads it. And Marcel uh, Balaga again. Complimenting him on the way he's taken, being left out of the side. He's worked hard at training. It is uh, often the way for clubs high up the Premier League to play, to give some game time to their second goalkeeper in the FA Cup, as uh, Liverpool are doing tonight. Van Dyke to knock it down. And uh, that was a threat. The early cross well met by tall Dutchman and he's up against Alonso here at the far post Alonso probably just about does enough to stop him hitting it goalwards he's such a threat in the air when he comes up into the opponent's box Van Dijk Origi a big challenge with blocking off somebody so that Van Dijk could get free it's in towards the near post and then it comes to Origi himself and just stabbed at it. Well, who wins the ball at the near post? Minamino makes the run, it comes off Barkley. He came in unchallenged. Came in very quickly, difficult for him to get over the top of it. Chelsea have kept clean sheets in five of their past six FA Cup ties here at Stamford Bridge. If they do it one more time tonight, then they're into the quarter-finals. Alonso. Kovacic. Just took it back into trouble in the shape of Mane. So, recognised the need for... A bit of extra defending. Kovacic gets himself out of trouble this time. There's a player who likes to get the ball at his feet and move with it. A snappy passer. Yeah, I think he looks a lot quicker this season, a lot more agile than I've seen him in previous seasons. I always thought he was a good passer of the ball, but as you said, this season he starts yeah. going past people with the ball. Goalscorer. Fabinho. But under pressure. And that is what you get for doing the work off the ball. In the years, Chelsea have the slight edge. It's the 11th FA Cup meeting. 
meeting. Chelsea have won six of the previous ten. And here's Lallana. Kept away from danger by Marcus Alonso. It certainly looks the most threatening side for Liverpool down this right. Lallana's joining in, Williams is getting forward, Mane's trying to make runs in behind or in between Alonso and Zuma. But a problem here for Kovacic. This is where he gets it. Seems to be too much contact, but just struggling here. A little shake of the head. So, of course, now Velo Conte is one of the players absent through injury, but Jorginho is pretty much a regular. This is on the bench, but he's not quite the same kind of player as Kovacic. Well, that's why Mason Mount is getting the instructions mm. here. He's got a bit more dynamism than Jorginho. Gilmore is playing the role that Jorginho would normally play, and he's actually playing it very well, Billy Gilmore. Responsibility on those three, all three of them, to tell Frank Lampard what the score is. Kovacic and his heart will want to play on. There's a big four minutes to go. Well, it looks as though he's maybe thinking discretion is the better part of valour. Didn't look too serious, did it? But. Something's been tweaked. It's out there, it's on the bench, man. I wonder if they just slightly change the shape here so that Gilmore plays in the holding midfield role by himself and Mount. And Barkley play either side of him. Well, as Barkley's doing at the moment, playing in behind the main striker, Olivier Giroud. So the Mason Mount is ready. And he's got the fourth official, holds up the board. Ready a lot quicker than most subs are these days. Yeah, I did hear a shout from uh, down there about where's the shirt. The players often are not in possession of their match shirt when they sit waiting to get warmed up. It's, uh, I don't know, it's whether they want the kit men to have it back without the drop of sweat on it, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, he was quicker than some, maybe not quite as quick as he could have been. He's quick-witted on the field, he's had a wonderful season. Made uh, tracks in the England setup as well. He was on loan from Chelsea at Frank Lampard's Derby County last season, played stacks of games. And huge amounts from the game time. There's no substitute for that, however much you are coached to play your games. He's also in a very competitive league with a competitive team, Derby County. They have been over the seasons in the championship. Not so much this season, though. And, uh, still in the FA Cup, and of course they have Wayne Rooney now. And uh, to round off this week full of FA Cup fifth round ties, it is Derby County against Rooney's former employer, Manchester United. Oh, Pedro has really been a spark right from the start. Not everything he's tried to come off, but his uh, attitude has been first class, his energy too. Giroud can't uh, ease it onto Barkley, he nearly got it via Fabinho or Curtis Jones. Oh, he's a frustrating player, Giroud. Brilliant from Pedro, good from Mason Mount. Olivier Giroud lets it run away from him. Expecting a couple of added minutes. It's been a good first half from the neutral perspective. Chances at both ends. Really, to some extent, has been about the two 
Spanish goalkeepers. That's a typical Giroud touch collected by Barkley. Here's William. Chelsea can about another chance before half time. Back to Mount. He recently arrived on the scene. He's got it through somehow to William. There's plenty in blue in the middle. Rudiger. Goes Robertson to deny Aspilicueta. That last move was started by Olivier Giroud winning the ball in the air against Virgil van Dijk. And from that moment on, Chelsea were in the ascendancy. Has to do more of that. He's not going to outrun people. He's not going to go past people with the ball. So he has to win his headers. He has to start holding on to the ball when it's played up to him. And so far, so good. Coaster here in many Chelsea games this season under Frank Lampard, so absolutely nothing taken for granted. Barkley. He's got his little touchdown to William. Cross towards the dangerous Giroud. Did he get the last touch, apparently so. A good cross from Rudiger. William couldn't get his cross away. Rudiger was screaming for it, bends it into a dangerous area. He was saying his header came off a defender. Not given his way. Zuma Ooh, took it into trouble. And uh, Liverpool in these closing seconds of the first half. And there's Billy Gilmore doing superbly. He's had a very good half. Jones, Williams. And, uh, Pedro making sure it's not the way he wanted to, but that Chelsea will lead at half time. He's played well, Pedro. Energetic, he's worked hard. Little nutmeg on Williams, who was trying to kick through the ball. Not one or two Chelsea players in this side tonight that were. Uh, Almost, he felt as though being shown the door by Lampard at the start of the scene, Pedro being one of them. Well, it's about the goalkeepers, really, in the first half. The Chelsea goal for William. There's an unwitting assist from Adrian. He tried to just parry it away and only diverted it into the side of the uh, Liverpool net at the other end after a very uncertain first minute. Arisa Balaga has produced... A number of good saves, including three in one episode of play. He's kept his clean sheet going and given Chelsea this platform for placing the quarter-finals. But only halfway, Chelsea won, Liverpool nil. The quarter-finals have been elusive for Liverpool in recent years. They've only got there twice since they last won the FA Cup back in... 2006. At the moment, Frank Lampard and Jody Morris have their way. They won't be going through this time, but there's 45 minutes at least to go, and in such a well balanced game, always the possibility we might go to extra time. Chelsea 1 0 up. Get the second half underway. Those who driving forward from midfield, like Barkley, Pedro on the other side, with a bit of protection from uh, Gilmore. And now Mason Mount, of course, on in the first half as a substitute for Kovacic. No other changes. Uh, Jurgen Klopp for Frank Lampard during the half time break. Maybe well, slightly worried how easy it was at times for Chelsea to create chances. William went past a couple of players late on in that first half with great ease. But such is the uh, nature of cup football. No mistake can change the course of the game. 
And really, the one goal has come from a, an error, despite the fact that William hit his shot well. And Milana playing it back. I don't know how many more times we'll see him in the Liverpool shirt. There's much talk now. Clear and leave at the end of the season. Got more regular first team football elsewhere. Arne. back in the nick of time. Van Dijk. Was up to offside. There's been numerous combinations at the back for Chelsea this season. Tonight it's Rudiger and Zuma. Well one by Giroud. Spotted by Robertson to make sure William didn't get away from him. Here's Jones, He's done so well in the FA Cup for Liverpool this season. Origi. And he's going straight into traffic. And again, a lively contribution from Pedro, just played it. Awry under pressure. When that ball was played to Origi, I thought he needed to take it before it bounced and take it beyond Aspilicueta. It's a clever play, first of all, by Amino. Hasn't really affected the game in that first half. And then Jones. There is Minamino, nearly getting it through to Origi. Robertson. Turning look about Liverpool, coming out on nil down for the start of the second half. Here goes William, and plenty forward in blue. And out by Van Dijk. Mount wins it back. Makes it awkward for Gilmore. Robertson. That's for the Quetta. Diva Carigi. I think that's for the that is relishing the challenge of Origi down this near side. Particularly when he's got his back to goal. I mean, he's not a player that can twist and turn away from trouble. And uh, William is down. And he lost Kovacic. Mm. So Jorginho mm. is coming on, and William has already made his mind up that he's going to be coming off. So that is certainly a change to. The formation Mount will play higher up the field now, you'd imagine. Here's his goal. The pleasure has turned to pain. He's been a funny player for Chelsea over the years, hasn't he, Willian? Some managers love him, other managers didn't really fancy him and didn't pick him very often. He's been up and down in the affections of the Chelsea supporters as well. He's still here, and that's a compliment in itself. Jorginho. He's a great organiser, on field organiser. He's getting into trouble with too much uh, physicality. He's not that kind of player, but he's. Suspensions looming. Playing the Munich in the second leg of the Champions League. Got himself a, a daft yellow card to put him over the tariff. And one of the reasons that he does get so many yellow cards, Jorginho, is because he's not a particularly good athlete. And when players start running at him, he dives in, knowing he can't run with them. So to get a yellow card for back chat is a bit silly. So only one substitute left. Alonso. So Pedro's come to the right hand side. Mason Mount will play on the left.
Chelsea youngsters that they make their way onto the field. Made a signing not uh, for this season. Can, uh, CH of Ajax, and a very uh, gifted player. He's shown it in the Champions League. He's Chelsea bound in the summer. Also, they've got Ruben Loftus Cheek almost back to full fitness. Hasn't played all season. Here's Pedro. Abraham has been to. Uh, Barcelona to have his ankle checked out and he's still struggling a bit. Christian Pulisic, who really had some great moments early on in his first season as a Chelsea player, he's also sidelined. Callum Hudson would do it. He would uh, be in a game like this. Not available. And they lost Eden Hazard, of course. Now he's injured <laughs> at uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, he's not had a great season, has he, at Real Madrid? Great player that he is. Just been really unlucky with injuries at his new club. They yeah, haven't quite got a player, and it, it's hard to replace someone like Hazard. And he went with everyone's blessing, really, because his service here was long and obviously distinguished. Finally, a replacement kind of individual ability to open games up, tight games. It's been uh, conspicuous by its absence. Lovely take by Curtis Jones. He really has stepped up this season with more first-team opportunity. And that's the game look disarmingly easy at times. And he's having a much better second start to the second half than he's in that first half. Here's Van Dijk. Liverpool on the hunt for an equaliser. At Stamford Bridge in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Van Dyke, Robertson. Now Gomez. Now Williams. Chelsea shuttling across. Forward by Van Dyke. Carol well by Mane. So, uh, didn't really give Williams a chance. He has shown in that first half that he's got the ability to cross it when he gets into good high areas. William, Williams. Not quite the deliveries of Alexander Arnold. Who is, who is exceptional. He's probably the best right back in world football at the moment in terms of. Creating opportunities, crossing balls into the box, hitting big switches of play. Yeah, Clark making the point that a number of his uh, regular outfield players have had that much time to recover it from uh, it was a late kickoff on Saturday. But Watford will travel back to Merseyside, and that's why he's. Running the changes tonight, or one of the reasons why. They've been caught once trying to play out from the back. Now yeah. nearly caught them again there. Yeah. They've moved into March. The weather in uh, South West London has been pretty good. A bit of sunshine today, but still chilly at night. Affected by the attire of the two managers. Jones. Fabinho. And Jones can take it on after Minamino's touch. And the space for Robertson here. Liverpool are in. And uh, in the end, it hits Mane, really. I don't think he had much control as the ball was flashed back in again. Jones is playing a big part in the game now. Good run. Timing of the pass was right. In the end, he looks for the cutback, and it was Williams that was coming in on that right hand side. First 10 minutes of the second half for Chelsea. I think they look more vulnerable now with Jorginho as the holding midfield player. And up there by Robertson. Okay, still pursuing. 
Pretty forward to Liverpool again for Robertson's delivery. Cut back by Lallana. Well, Jorginho coming on, they've changed their shape in midfield. They're playing with a holding midfield player and two players in front of him. And that's why Jones is getting more joy. So to Lallana. Zuma. Zuma gets it away. Quite flat, the right cut back there. Liverpool piling on the pressure here. Really you're taking Van Dijk. That's misjudged really by Jorginho, so Robertson recognising it was the less athletic midfield player was going to take him on. Alana. the ball for the Blues Robertson inside by uh, Astro Quetta but Jones has cropped up on the outside and uh, Pedro's there again hoping someone might chase that and uh, that man was Giroud and now Barkley there's a break on here and it's about the time of the pass uh, for Mount Back heel for Alonso. Still alive for Chelsea in this attack. Jorginho, Gilmore. Aspilicueta, now Pedro. He was in at the beginning of it. Oh, that's handball. Um, Adam Alana as he was trying to break out. And he thought if he got away with it, the counter-attack was really on. More than 40,000 people shouted handball. <laughs> Quite clear here. As Gilmore tries to play it round the corner. Outstretched arm. Chelsea lining up a possibility to stretch their lead. He's not the kind of man, Adrian, he's been around a long time, not the kind of man to be still thinking about what happened earlier. He's solid personality. Thrilled to be back in the English game with a club like Liverpool after being released by West Ham. Maybe just a little bit far out from Mason Mount, we'll see. He's looking to his left, whether that's a bluff. It's far enough out to get it up and down over the wall, but he goes for the clip towards Alonso. He gets it back in again, Giroud fighting for it. And that's a real problem for Mane. I think he, he, is he just suggesting he was fouled? Yeah, he was suggesting he was fouled by yeah. Gilmore as he was yeah. chasing back Gilmore. Just caught him, just put him off his stride. Yeah. Mane stops and tried to protest about it. He has had a recent spell out through injury. The winter break, ready to go again. And, uh, an hour into Liverpool's fifth game since they returned from their uh, short winter holes. And they've only been in front for 34 minutes over that period. This is Liverpool we're talking about. Fabinho um, gets the yellow card, tries to get the free kick. Well, the Liverpool players are suggesting that was a dive here, but it looked as though Fabinho just caught him. And it just does catch him as well. Oh, just getting away from him. It's a foul. It's a foul, absolutely. Well, this is in a much better position for the likes of Alonso. Oh, William on the field now. Agitated look. Nelson Mount is the player that's placed the ball, which is always a suggestion who might be taking it. Well, the 
touch here is whatever you do, work the goalkeeper. Seeing uh, Adam Milana drop down on the knee. There's the free kicks, yeah, there he is. players that can all hit a good free kick. Didn't get much of a chance at Derby. Wilson was the free kick taker. Mm. Now at Bournemouth. Ross Barkley would love to bury one in the Liverpool net with his uh, background. And he leaves it to Mount. Oh, and it bounces up off the top of the bar. Oh, good technique, wraps his foot round it. What a side spin on the ball. Unfortunately, him not enough top spin. Doesn't come down in time, just hits the top of that crossbar. Can you see it? Actually, there's a bit of top spin on it, but not quite enough. Actually, had it been on target or underneath the crossbar, probably would have got his fingertips to it. What do we make of the Lallana defensive position? And that wall, he can only block it if it comes down that particular avenue. And I suppose it's the side of the wall where the goalkeeper's not covering it, so it yeah, offers another defence. Yeah, well, quite often you see players, they're on one knee to start with, and then they lie down just as the ball's played. Mm. Well, I don't think did that. But it just puts a doubt in the free kick. The player taking the free kick about going underneath the wall. Had a very good player at doing that in Felipe Coutinho. And Sale, of course, funded a lot of the development to the side that we have admired so much in Liverpool's colours since that departure. In the end, just too high. Ugi's a tall man. And Dykes header only drops for Barkley. He's got a bit to do, but he's got Pedro to the right. He plays him now. Not going to play him now. He's going to bang it into the back of the net. And the Liverpudlian puts Liverpool 2-0 behind in the FA Cup fifth round at Stamford Bridge. Ex-Everton, very much in the blue now of Chelsea. It's a special moment for him. Liverpool in deeper trouble. What a goal from Ross Barkley. This is what everybody expected from him when he was a youngster at Everton. Drive with the ball. And win it back here in a good position, that's Billy Quetta. Van Dyke heads it straight to Ross Barkley, they back off. Everybody expecting a pass at some point to come to Pedro. Gomez doesn't get tight enough, but he just hits it with great power. There's the header by Van Dijk straight to Barkley. Fabinho's not going to catch him here, so he cuts back across him. Williams can't get there. Gomez doesn't come and close the ball down. And as you can see from behind that block there, he doesn't see it until it's too late, the goalkeeper, Adrian. But it's a brilliant finish and a brilliant run by Ross Barkley. Two thumping goals for Frank Lampard's boys. Coming at a time where Liverpool has started the second half well. well. That will be reverberating around this part of London, but also up in the northwest of England. Uh, the red side of Merseyside will be uh, almost horrified that they uh, didn't have much uh, success in the derby games against Liverpool and his. Uh, Many years at Everton. Corner. I'm surprised they haven't put Marnie onto the left hand side at some point. We're going to surely see some substitutions from Jurgen Klopp soon. It's an Andy Robertson corner. Looking to get onto the comeback trail. Headed away by Zuma, and now it's uh, Pedro. 
he's in the clear. Pedro for three, but uh, Adrian, he took it early, could hear the hooves behind him, and uh, couldn't slide it past the goalkeeper who'd come out and made an important contribution. 3-0, and I think that would be it, even for a team like Liverpool. Well, there's two reasons why he hit it early. He does well here, to nick it off Gomez. Gomez is the player catching up, Williams isn't going to get there, but he also tries, as the goalkeeper's un balance and trying to come out and close it down hit it early Adrian moved his feet well a big chance for Pedro's been excellent throughout tonight look at that for attempts it's been a credit to two clubs and to the competition and Fabinho who has been booked and now Andy Robertson's angry with referee Kavanagh Certainly the man of the moment, isn't he? It's Barkley. Just gets his body across Robertson again. Just gets a little nudge in the back. Well, you can't always bank on Barkley, but when he has his good days, he's definitely in credit. Activity on the away dugout. Minamino. Still a quarter of the 90 minutes to go. Here comes Roberto Firmino. Yeah, I imagine that would be a straight swap for Minamino. Hasn't really affected the game enough. Had one or two good moments. long as he has done ever since the first minute when he threw it out and they almost gave possession away two uh, natural right footers in the back four and Zuma's not always happy to get into those tight areas out of near the left corner flag and got some distance into that clearance Gomez to Liverpool. And lured in Marcus Alonso and Mane. And maybe a double change. And Firmino's coming on for Divock Origi, in fact. And James Milner talks about the loss of leadership. Two leaders light, really. And Milner. But, uh, James Milner, and he has on this competition with Manchester City. Comes on for Curtis Jones. He was having a much better second half. Certainly more involved in the second half than he was in the first. Had two good runs, a couple of good moments. Hopefully we'll be thinking one goal and that will rattle Chelsea. Not being rock solid at home this season. His first involvement. Gomez has never scored. He actually played a big part in the winner against West Ham with a shot that was going nowhere and it spiralled off a defender and was collected by Alexander Arnold who set up the winner. That was that for 3 0 from Pedro, but it stays at 2. Yeah, I wonder if he was trying to go between the legs of Adrian. Adrian just closed them in time. You can see the funny side of it, Frank Lampard. That would have been over had he scored. That's 
solar plexus for Giroud, who's still standing. Lead away by Rudiger. Fabinho, Milner. That hasn't come in yet. Gomez. Patient approach from Liverpool, not panicking. Milana. Oh, he's done very well. That's all this good work. Wasted with the cross. Camino scored the winner here in the, uh, the goal that decided the game. In the league victory, 2 1 it was in September. And the top team uh, before them as they pretty much were a nine perfect record until Saturday. The same move. I don't think it's quite clever for the two centre backs to be in there because they can distract the referee and a little bit more time can be used up as they run away. I think, he's is taken. I think he's starting to warn the goalkeeper there, though. Really good. Alonso. Tumbling by Mane, who stayed on the right. on the right side of the law then, free kick against him. So Firmino's starting slightly out towards the left and Minamino is still played through the middle. And here's Giroud through the middle here. He's turned on to the bar, whether he was onside or not, we probably will find out soon, but the game wasn't stopped and had it gone in, it certainly would have been evaluated by VAR, but it might have been 3-0, Chelsea close again. But Adrian got a good hand on that. Well, as he was racing through, I wouldn't say racing through, as the ball was played in behind, it looked as though he was going to be caught, it looked as though he'd lost control, but eventually it fell to his left foot, his favoured left foot. That's a good ball, he's, so he's probably onside, Robertson was playing him onside, that touch is a good one. Eventually it falls to him on his left foot, and a good save from Adrian. Gomez gets back and actually plays it on to Giroud, settles himself. He's been beaten twice, the uh, second-string goalkeeper, but he's since then made two saves that still keep Liverpool's chances alive. Van Dijk. You're going to see Liverpool's full-backs get higher and higher as this game wears on. Milner, as he so often does from midfield, just drops in for them. And here's Williams on the right-hand side. Robertson's making his way into the box. Belaga deciding that there's enough traffic around him for him not to go for the catch. Short corner by Robertson. Milner back to Robertson. Good angle for his delivery. Just too high for Van Dyke. Chelsea would be grateful for that. Picked in by Mane. That's good strides and wins a corner. A little bit of acceleration. And his great qualities. Player that's involved defensively. Oh, ben Gilmore again. And in this corner. And, uh, Pedro. Good uh, race between the old stages there, and Pedro won, won it. And Milner has arrived. And pretty Quickly picked up a yellow card, he was obviously scared that Pedro was going to get all the way to set up another Chelsea chance, and the expression is taking one for the team. Yeah, he thought he would win the ball. It's all or nothing. Gets himself that yellow card. But you're absolutely right, he was frightened that Pedro was going to run away from him. He didn't fancy running 40, 50 yards back. Oh, I 
would suggest he's not 100% fit, that they've rather shoehorned him into the uh, team sheet tonight. I thought, well, if we, do, if we do well, we won't need to use him, but they're not doing well. To try and put a squeeze on, and Robertson gives it away to Jorginho. He's expecting, I think, maybe Giroud to run across that line for a little flicked header, but it wasn't to be. There's good pressure from Chelsea as well. Seems to Van Dyke to play it out to Robertson, who was closed down. He was looking to play it in to midfield. There was pressure there as well. Nervy and Chelsea haven't really looked in uh, any uh, panicky state so far, but the prize is a big one and the scalp is a big one. Arsenal from London already through. There's the last ten minutes, Liverpool dominating possession, but not really creating too much at the moment. Nice foot by Giroud. Concentration important. Chelsea, and for the referee. And spot on to see the free kick was taken. Either with a moving ball or the fact he wasn't ready, he had the signal for it, probably the former. Mane got lucky. Milner, clever. Here's Barkley again. Supported by Pedro. He's had one of his best games, certainly this season, for Chelsea. The reverse back to uh, Alonso. Pedro and Milner sliding in. He had to get the ball then. If he got the man, he would have been no sooner on than off. Yeah, Alonso doing well and getting back and winning the ball in the air. He's had another good game, Alonso. Didn't look as though he's going to get too many chances under Frank Lampard. He's proved his worth in the last few games. And he's obviously been in the team when they play three at the back. His left wing back is probably better suited to his strengths, he certainly gets him up the field and he's chipped in three goals recently. As you can see, Mo Salah's the last roll of the Liverpool dice. There was a lot of criticism of Alonso and David Luiz last year when Sammy played with a back four, but that area behind Alonso and down the side of David Luiz was a real problem for Chelsea. It's probably what Frank Lampard saw when he was looking at the videos. I think he's made no secret of the fact that they want to sign another left back. Emerson's the one who's played more often in a back four. But, uh, Alonso's recent form, even with the tactical switch, it would have been very harsh to leave him out. And he's played very well. And Mo Salah, not the warmest welcome back to Stamford Bridge. This is Adam Lallana. I'm sure it was Mo Salah's fault that he didn't have a good time at Chelsea. He wasn't given that many opportunities. In 19 games, two goals. And he moved on. Lukaku moved on. De Bruyne moved on. And, uh, <laughs> in the end, how they've looked at that here. It's time to play. It's a Chelsea throw. And we're into the last 10 minutes. Unless Liverpool can double up on the scoreline. Well, Salah, of course, has now gone to the right-hand side, Mane to the left, it's the usual front three for Liverpool in the same shape. Mount. Barkley. Chelsea's lost a boot. Chelsea have still got the ball. And intervenes. Yeah. 
need two boots when he's got a head like that. Olivier Giroud, he's fully shod. And, uh, slightly wrong-footed by the eager Mason Mount. And that's when Giroud does look a good player, when he starts winning balls in the air, knocking them down to his teammates who are backing him up. He's so much out of favour. He must have been a, been a last resort in his case. And turning Abraham out and Michi Batshuayi was given the chance against uh, Manchester United recently and played very poorly. So in the end, Giroud was summoned from exile almost. He very nearly left the club in the January transfer window. They couldn't find anybody to replace him. Here's Barkley. Right from out. That's why it's sometimes dangerous to almost dismiss players because at some point you may need them again. Milner. Van Dyke. Slipping it through to Robertson. He's behind Chelsea here, but. but uh, that's well read by Aspilicueta. He had to go infield and then came back out to get the block in. He's been a great servant for Chelsea, Aspilicueta. And they put one on Van Dyke's head here. Well, it was really back across the face, the goal by Roberto Firmino. Well, he actually does everything right. He just pulls off to the back post. Not really go for goal here, so just heads it back into what should be a dangerous area. And the player should be reading the knockdown. No Liverpool player was. There's a bit of a grab on Van Dyke, who uh, doesn't get angry very often, but he does have a frown. And we saw that then. There is the Colossus, that is Virgil Van Dyke. Firmino has got all his goals this season outside Anfield. It's extraordinary. He hasn't scored since April in the home game. Unlike Salah, of course, who fires it into Mane. Minamino's there, covering well was Aspilicueta in the right place again. Here's Barkley again. Chiru pulls away. And Barkley tries to slip it through to him. Giroud looks absolutely shattered because he hasn't had that many games recently. I think actually Barkley on that occasion was looking for the bigger pass with the outside of his boot to Pedro had made the run, but it wasn't really on. He had to almost play it through a couple of players. Liverpool eventually got the block in, won the ball back. No challenge, says the referee cabinet. by Aspilicueta. And here's Mount. Oh, Giroud's just got to square it to Giroud. I think he may have been offside when the ball was played, Mason Mount. Here he is again. He's made a good run. Chimjunia takes two or three touches. Yeah, he was just, just offside. That first boot. The assistant kept his flag down until the last minute and then put it up once the shot went over the bar. Five minutes plus stoppage time. And Liverpool need two. Take it to extra time. Gilmore. Still wanting the ball. That's what they used to call a proper midfield player. Get it, give it. Make sure you pass it to somebody wearing the same colour shirt as you've got on. He's also passed it forward and kept possession. John Bajou gets some applause for that because it's kept uh, Liverpool having to retrieve. Uh, that's not given as a foul. So he thought it was going to be a foul, and now he's away. Pedro's in the middle. 
Saru, who was complaining about a ball that wasn't squared to him just now, is guilty of the same crime, really. He looks completely shattered, doesn't he? Once again, it was good play from Gilmore. Picked up the knockdown, rolled it down the side of Giroud. Well, he may be going off soon. Olivier Giroud, I think he'd go off to a standing ovation. Uh, you wouldn't want to take him off in the corner to attack either, would you? Just wait till this plays out. And it nearly came his way, and Liverpool looked to break out. And Salah... Get into uh, his first real sprint of the evening since he's come on. Distance the turns from Marisa Belaga. They just have to hold the substitution that they were going to make. They were going to take Giroud off, but now Rudiger's got a problem. The problem is cramp. Fire Tamori is on the bench with Richie Batchway was being readied. James is now getting his shirt on. It looks as though Rudiger's going to be OK. Well, uh, Almost been there from the start, but Jorginho and Mount. Certainly been named man of the match, Gilmore. That would be a very wise choice. And we feel he's going to have many more of matches of this calibre to display his gifts 18 years old from Scotland it's in the Rangers system for a while We're down to two plus at Stamford Bridge Salah Tops over Pedro Mane Robertson Milner Gets the cross in. <laughs> Chelsea fans a bit more nervous than the players, actually. I'm not sure Aspili Quaita wanted the ball back there from Ross Barkley. <laughs> Robertson. Mane. Trying to come and play a little one two was Salah. Pedro. Gets it back again, and then it ran his way. He seemed to lose it. He's been a candidate. He's not far behind Billy Gilmore. We've got uh, one Chelsea youngster and one almost Chelsea pensioner. Just looked as though Alonso got a bit lucky there. It looked as though Firmino was going to knock him off the ball. Yeah, he knocked him off his feet. Mm. He did knock him off his feet. Been asked by his manager to be better defensively. I think Alonso has done that tonight. Well, that's Rhys James coming on. But of course, Alonso, in between his goal scoring games, got sent off against by me. First Chelsea player to be sent off in a long while. And now going off after a real shift. Olivier Giroud still part of the plans here, and maybe another. Maybe, who knows, another FA Cup medal to add to the four he's already got. He enjoyed his game. And a lot of shots of him sitting on the bench, not smiling, through the autumn and the winter fixtures. Almost brought out the mothballs to play again. Firmino, Salah. Barkley's there, Jorginho's there, Liverpool are there. And Chelsea are almost there in terms of the result. Into the first of the four minutes. He knows he's going to have some awkward questions. On the verge of a third defeat in four games. And another lacklustre performance following the winter break that he championed so much. It certainly hasn't done them too many favours, has it? That winter break. They've lost their rhythm. Even those wins that they got, they didn't play particularly well in the Premier League. 
And they, they run at Norwich with a late goal from Sadio Mane, who's back in action after an injury. And uh, they're pushed all the way by West Ham. And they run 3 2 at Anfield. Milner. Well, their big game now will be that one against Atletico Madrid. Second leg of their Champions League tie. Corner. They're still uh, moving okay. Corner looked not properly in the quadrant. Sometimes the ball overhangs, but I don't think that one was. Hoisted back by Robertson. Firmino trying to get underneath it, and the decision is a corner. I think the players all made up the mind for the referee. Everybody pushed out as if to say, well, that's our goal kick wearing blue. And I think even if uh, Liverpool were to get one now, their hash is settled and this is FA Cup and Van Dijk going in and then Salah the goalkeeper goes for it deals with it efficiently it's been a great night for him it certainly has those three saves on the trot in the first half and it looks as though Liverpool were going to get the equaliser Pedro Without a centre forward now, Chelsea. Pedro is probably going to be the furthest forward player. Coming into the Chelsea box again. Barkley heads it away. And that will do for Marcus Alonso as we go into the last minute of added time. Well, I think this has been a great night for Frank Lampard. He wasn't under pressure for his job, but under pressure in terms of getting the right results. Trying to win something for Chelsea. They're struggling to stay in that top four. They are there at the moment. It's Under going to pressure be from himself, because yeah. that's the kind of man that he is. But there will be more questions asked of Liverpool, who, of course, have been startlingly good, historically good, really, in their Premier League campaign. And uh, they win their first league title, Mane gets... They're booking a late just in frustration, really. Well, I'll be interested to see this again because Mane's running for the ball. That's Billy Quasar, I think it is, who's down on the ground. He was making no attempt, he was just blocking the run of Mane. There he is, that's Billy Quasar. You can see it again, the ball was played over his head and he was almost standing in Mane's way. Mane gave him a little shove in the face. Well, remember. Chelsea this season have played well twice against Liverpool, but lost on both occasions. Penalties in the Super Cup, the narrowest of ways to lose. And 2-1 here in the league, but they've won here tonight, and they've won well for Frank Lampard. And Jurgen Klopp has to take a third defeat in four for a team that's been looking almost invincible for so much of the season. It started really on a mistake by Adrian, the second-string goalkeeper, that allowed Williams' admittedly hard shot for bouncing off him and then Ross Barkley blasted in the second which will be special for the ex-Evertonian the Liverpool-born midfield player and what a night for Pepe Arisa Balaga recalled a clean sheet as Stuart was saying a triple save of some real significance probably one of his best contributions to a Chelsea game and they are dancing here London has another representative in the quarter-finals after Arsenal last night. It's Chelsea tonight. They've knocked out Liverpool by two goals to nil.